What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Let's go ahead and try this again. If you guys are wondering what happened to the last video, I took it down because I wanted to address uh, everybody's concerns live, which we did. And after talking about it back and forth, cracking some jokes, having some fun, hearing some, some tilted stories and, and people, you know, sharing their opinions. Uh, I really wanted to hit on this a little bit deeper uh, than just talking about the specifics of the improvement to the resin system. All right. So I know a lot of you guys out there are upset. I'm just going to go ahead and say up front, like, yes, we know the resin system sucks currently in this its current form. It's, it's trash, right? Um, obviously, there needs to be improvements. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, my intent is not to defend MiHoYo in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the, the resin system definitely needs to improve. I just don't feel that complaining about it um, in the way that we've been attacking this is the way to do it. All right. I feel like there's just more productive ways, like the feedback loop. When we get into this, what's happening, guys, in 1.1, uh, they have decreased the original resin requirement for the weekly battle pass missions from 1600 to 1200 to make it more accessible. Furthermore, travelers will be able to store up to 160 original resin increase from the current limit of 120. Um, also, uh, they are, you know, planning keybinds and controller setup. They're also going to be way more ways to filter the artifacts, traversing the game while it's time consuming. They'll be bringing custom way waypoints in 1.1. And then also they're going to be adding small character avatars, which will appear next to the icons of equipped weapons and artifacts. And then they're talking about shield mechanics and how shield mechanics work. Uh, I'll post a link to this in the description box so you guys can check this out. Um, the reason why this is important is because all of the characters basically come in where well, I won't say all of the characters, but some of the characters, well, yeah, pretty much all the characters uh, that are coming uh, use some, some, some form of shield. And shield mechanics are going to become even more important um, in 1.1, uh, but you guys will be able to find that out when 1.1 comes out and you guys learn more about the new heroes that are going to be coming. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this resin. I just want to hit on this for a second, and I'm going to use the game as a system to do so. So, a lot of people are, like, really concerned about, you know, obviously the future of the game, how the resin system is going to work. But we talked about this a lot on stream where it's just, like, the reason why everything is so funneled right now is because there's literally no content in the game, all right? I was talking about how, like, my life as Adventuring 45 right now is legit, okay? Is legit hitting all, going to my adventure book and doing the same dungeon every single day, all day, right? Getting materials all day every day even even like doing full refreshes that's the only difference right there's not like some crazy content that's barred behind a wall like obviously you get better loot at higher adventure rank but that's it so if i look at this logically um from a position of you know playing gacha games for seven years like the whole reason why the content is funneled the way that it is is to basically prevent us from progressing too fast because if they put this in a, in a system where like let's say we got a thousand resin a day where they took resin out of the game, it'll literally put us in a situation where everybody literally will beat the game and the only time that you come back to the game is during updates. That's it. Then you beat the game again and then you leave. And then eventually you just don't come back. So that's typically how Gacha games work is they put content limiters, RNG, limited content, so on and so forth to kind of cap you. Does it suck? Absolutely. What do I think is going to happen with the resin system over time for those of you guys who intend on staying long term? Just a couple of things here. So if you think about this, we have we currently have an ice boss and we currently have a wind boss. So taking into consideration that these runs take 60 energy per run and assuming that they intend on having at least one of these types of bosses for every single element. Like from a business standpoint, it would make sense that you're, they're going to have to raise the resin cap or give us more ways to get resin. The reason I say that is because let's imagine for a second that they release five more bosses, one boss each for each element that comes out. There's just no way that you'd be able to handle the amount of content in the game like at that point, especially with 120 energy. Hell, not even with 160 energy with the upgrade. So the good thing is, is that they are taking active steps, right? The game's been out for three weeks and they're already making adjustments to the resin system. Whether or not that has to do with the complaints or not, who knows? But understand that from a system standpoint, it does it just doesn't make sense as more content comes out. So what I think is going to happen, what I'm willing to bet pretty much all my money on, is as more content is revealed and released, there will be more ways that come out to deal with the resin system. Resin will be expanded, more systems will be put into place to kind of counter um, the limitation on content. 
because you, you got to think about it like this, guys. We're getting a major update every six weeks, right? Every six weeks over the course of a year, literally is eight major updates a year, right? That's eight. So assuming that of those eight, let's say two of the eight will be a whole entire new continent, right? New bosses, new quests, new features, new everything. And then the rest of it will be quality of life, new characters, new quests, new story, new all of that. There's just literally too much content coming to the game over the course of the next six months to a year that we literally will not be able to handle with the amount of resin just looking at the data, right? So it, over time, the resin system on its own is going to improve. The way that resources is handled is going to, to improve. So guys, we just got to be patient, for real. Like, And worst case scenario, it's like if it doesn't change, then we all got a decision to make, <laughs> right? And that's just what it boils down to. But I'm telling you guys, there's no light at the end of the rainbow if you guys are trying to rush and get to AR 4045 right now, 50, because there's, there's nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do right now at 40 plus, 45 plus, other than prep for, for the next patch, and that's it. Um, I know personally that when 1.1 drops, it's a lot of quality of life improvements. There's like all this new like reputation system, and all this other crazy stuff that's coming. Um, so. You know, again, I'll just wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. I know a lot of you guys are probably kind of up in arms right now because you're like, what the hell? They think we're stupid. Like, why would they? <laughs> it's the same goddamn energy. But if you think about it, like, if you only play for 2.7 hours a day, right, which is a very specific number, then you hit 160, and that's an extra 20 energy a day that you don't have to worry about. So instead of logging in twice a day, you only got to log in once and you can knock everything out that you need to knock out. Now, granted, I know you guys want to play more, which is a good thing, but you're just gonna have to give it a little bit of time. And then as content unfolds, more things unfold, uh, it will just just get better, all right? If it doesn't, you guys can come back and chastise me and be like, D, you were wrong, and I will take responsibility. And I'll be like, you guys are right, but like, we, we just gotta get better <laughs> at like, Ch channeling our energy i think overall just as a community uh before things just get out of hand man because this is a very very young game it literally just came out it does have a lot of flaws yes the resin system sucks yes i would like to play a lot more but just i understand seeing these gashi games and how they work how this thing normally pans out so that's all i want to address uh this is basically the short form of the whole live stream <laughs> so Hopefully, you know, like, you know, we, we all can come to terms as a community and kind of see eye to eye on this. We might not enjoy it, but again, guys, I promise you guys over time, it will get better. All right. So with that being said, I love y'all. You have a wonderful day. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'd be happy to assist. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.